So, so what makes English sparkling wine so brilliant? What I think about it is it's linked to our countryside. You know, we're here in a beautiful vineyard in the South Downs, and I think when you taste the wine, you can sort of you can sense where it's come from, its provenance, but also it's just it's very good to drink. Could you tell us about the recent uh, FTA with Australia and what that's going to look like for English wine? Well, Australia is the first post-Brexit trade deal we've done from scratch, and it reduces, it eliminates tariffs on English sparkling wine. So what it will mean, it will be easier to get our fantastic wine from the South Downs into Australia and that will mean more opportunities here in the UK. We started exporting out there. It's been slow burn, as sometimes exports are. Uh, we're really excited by seeing that grow um, on the back of hopeful tariffs coming down and the ability to really enter that market in more volume, which is exciting. So in the UK, we have way over 700, almost 750 vineyards across Wales um, and all of England. And do they vary in size greatly? They do, <laughs> small where there's a f just a few, a few rows of vines um, to uh, vineyards that uh, have sort of two, three hundred acres spread around. The Australian market actually is, is becoming more important for English wine now. It was at 4%, but it's now grown to 11 and it just seems to be very interesting and a growing market for us. What is it that people like about it? Why do people from around the world want to buy English sparkling wine? I think, to be honest, it's the quality. So, so what's happening is the bottles are going out, people are tasting it, and sommeliers and masters of wine are tasting these wines and, and saying these are incredibly good. We're growing wines here on the chalk that are very, very close to where Champagne was 20, 30, 40 years ago. And so they are, they're really excited by it. not only what the wines are doing now, but what that progression is going to look like in, in 20 years. What's so special about wine from this, this part of the world? Um, well, it is, so we are, we're standing on about that much kind of soil and then you've got just billions of tons of chalk underneath us here. Um, and chalk is free draining and the minerality of the wine is kind of comes from here. We, we love sheep and we love Sussex cattle. But we actually find that people really want to come because there are vines planted. Vines don't like to be in wet, damp soil. So when you get free draining soils like chalk and sandstone, that's actually really good. The vines like that. And it's better to a vine to slightly struggle um, rather than having too much water and too much nutrients coming through because then it actually works harder to produce better fruit. Demand is growing fast and it is an interesting space as regards suddenly you'll get an order which is enormous, like your whole vintage, and you go, ah, uh, we'd love to supply that, but actually we've got to keep our, our regular customers happy as well. So growing that supply and demand is interesting. We've got plantings going in, and um, here we're increasing here, but also around, around the country there are a, a lot more vines uh, that have gone in, in the last three years and, and so we're really excited to see that demand grow so that the, the supply of wine continues.